Hey, I'm Shanti and today I want to give a basic introduction to walking meditation. Walking meditation is an amazing skill to have. It's a really beautiful thing to do, especially if you've been sitting in meditation for a while. It's great to be able to stand up and do some walking meditation. And it has huge benefits for cultivating mindfulness and cultivating stillness and presence. So stay tuned, I'll tell you all about them. Hey, so let's talk about walking meditation. And walking meditation is practiced in a number of different spiritual traditions. A lot of different Buddhist traditions practice walking meditation. And I first learnt it in the Zen tradition. I used to go to a Zen group for a number of years and we practiced this walking meditation. In, in Zen it's called Kinhin. Kinhin is the Japanese name for walking meditation. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. We used to do like 20 minutes of meditation and then about 10 minutes of walking and then back to 20 minutes of meditation I just kind of alternate between those and the walking meditation is a great way to break up like long periods of sitting and keeping in that mindfulness and staying with that presence I think it's a really beautiful thing to be able to do and the art of it I think is to be able to then bring that awareness and presence into your walking in everyday life so you can actually make all the walking you do during your day more meditative and bring that kind of meditative presence into your walking so yeah i just wanted to go through some basic things about the basic technique of walking meditation and yeah let's do some together so walking meditation can be done inside or outside, whatever feels good to you or works for you. I really enjoy doing it outside because I enjoy having that scenery around me and feeling the textures of the earth. So the basic technique, the way I learnt it, is to just walk at about 25% of your normal walking pace. So about a quarter of your normal walking pace. And basically just walking really slowly and mindfully. You can just try it out now if you like, if you're in somewhere where you can walk around. Just walking really slowly. And see if you can bring all your attention down into your feet. So you're feeling the base of your feet and feeling the texture of the earth or the floor between your feet. It's really as simple as that. And I think in Zen we always tried to bring all our attention down into our legs and just notice all the really subtle movements of the legs. So you can feel your foot lifting up, reaching forward, the heel touching the ground, and then the toes touching the ground, and the other foot lifting, heel touching the ground, foot touching the ground. Yeah, so just practicing like that, bringing all your awareness down into your legs. Feeling the base of the feet and feeling your legs moving, all the subtle movements. And with your hands, you can either just rest your hands, relax them by your sides, or in Zen, we often just held one hand as a fist and the other hand over the fist held at the belly. It's quite nice to hold your hands like that. You feel like you're a Zen monk or something like that. <laughs> so I think the art then is to just completely relax the body. And keep breathing. And just totally relaxing as you walk really slowly. It's a really beautiful practice to be able to walk mindfully and slowly. And with your eyes, you can have your eyes slightly downcast. In Zen, the practice is to have your eyes downcast. So you're not kind of looking around, getting distracted by things. Keeping your eyes downcast so you can bring your attention inside your body. And really make that internal practice. So you're kind of aware of both inside and outside at the same time. If you're walking outside, one thing I really enjoy about walking outside is being able to feel all the different textures beneath my feet. 
when you're doing that walking meditation you can really feel things more intensely you can feel all those different textures beneath the feet Great, and you can choose to walk in a straight line or you might want to walk in a circle or even like an oblong if you're in a room. If you're walking in a straight line and you get to the end of the wall or an object, then you can just slowly stop, pause. I really enjoy having that pause. And then you can turn around and just continue walking in the other direction just really simply yeah so that's the art of walking meditation I think and it's up to you, you can experiment a bit with different speeds sometimes it's nice to really slow down to go extremely slowly so one step takes about a minute you can really feel all the subtle movements I think it's also good to practice walking a little bit faster and still being mindful because that also helps you to learn to just walk normally and make normal walking a walking meditation and it's much easier to integrate it then into your everyday life Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that walking meditation. I think it's a really beautiful practice to kind of integrate with your other practices, other spiritual practices that you do. You might want to break up some periods of meditation with a bit of walking meditation. And I think it's just a beautiful practice. Like some days I just feel like walking and I just do a whole practice of just walking meditation. And then trying to integrate that into life and make every step that you take a little bit more mindful. Yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please hit like. I'd love you to leave a comment and get some feedback on the video. And yeah, if you want to see more videos, I'd love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel or you might want to just like my Facebook page so you get to see the next videos. And yeah, hope to catch you next time. Peace.